welcome to Rowing Tidbits. Today we're going to be talking about what shoes to wear when you go to the boathouse. Um, there are two scenarios that you're probably going to encounter. One is you're launching from a dock. One is you're launching from the river or the lake. It's called wet launching, um, in which case you actually have to wade the boat in. The scenarios are a little different, so we'll talk about both with each individual thing. Uh, the shoes seen here are, with the exception of one, are all ones that I've rode in before. I'm hoping you can figure out the ones that I have not, but I've seen other people attempt to. Um, we'll talk about that in a second. I want everyone to know that these are my opinions of shoes that I have actually purchased with my own money, so I'm hoping that it's an objective review for everyone. A lot of people out there that get free shoes from shoe manufacturers, and I want everyone to know that that's not what this is. These are shoes I actually use, and I've actually learned from coaching and rowing myself over the years. There are, however, links in the description if you're interested in buying any of these. As an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. People may or may not know that there are shoes in the boat. So when you get to the boat, make sure you just bring socks so that you can share. It's kind of like bowling shoes. Some teams have the new um, snap-in shoes where everyone can um, have their own pair, which hopefully more teams transition to. I know our team is in the middle of transitioning to that. Anyway, let's dive in. So let's start with what I've seen people try to wear to the boathouse, but is a really bad idea. Anything fancy or sandals that aren't waterproof. Lots of people like to wear that sort of thing. Um, I have them because uh, I have them for other reasons, but I would never wear them to the boathouse. There are a couple other shoes I'll talk about today that I don't even own because they're not good for anything. These are good for lots of things, just not rowing. Um, so um, another type of shoes that people like to wear um, and I should note that my shoes are muddy because I actually wear them. I didn't attempt to clean them up so you could see how they actually are used. Um, these are the croc type shoes. So they're very easy in and out. Um, these work for dock and anything without a strong current. So if you're in a lake or something like that, um, or a river with a not very strong current, if you're in a very strong current, they'll kind of wash away if you're not careful. Um, one of the downsides to them is they take up a lot of room down where your feet are so um, there isn't so much room but you can put a water bottle in them so it doesn't slide around so there's some kind of some pluses and minuses on those. Another option is um, old tennis shoes. Um, you don't want to wear your new ones because um, then the, the water ruins them. I'm sure most people have worn sneakers in the um, water before. They're not quite the same when you take them out. But if, you're, if you've planned on giving up on them anyway already, so you can use them for this. They're very sturdy, so if you have to walk over uneven ground or things like that, or a long distance um, at regattas, they're very comfortable if you have to walk very far. If you have a dock, you can use these because then you don't have to get your feet wet, so it's fine. Um, they're harder if you have to wet launch. Then we get to Chaco-type river sandals. Um, these are usually what I wear. Um, they're great because they're very easy on and off. Um, as you can see, there's different styles of them. Um, there's the double cross with the toe loop. They actually have double cross without the toe loop. And then there's the single cross um, without a toe loop. Both of these options come with and without the toe loop. Now, I have the toe loop for other things in life, but I don't recommend it for rowing. It's great like if you want to swim in your shoes but hopefully you're not swimming in your shoes if you're rowing. Um, so I recommend the ones without the toe, toe loop, either the double strap or the single strap. Um, I've found that the cloud version versus the standard version is a lot more comfortable. Um, and they don't last as long, but it's worth it to me. Um, I'm a river guide, so I wear these all the time. Um, so mine probably wear out faster than most people's. Uh, they fit nicely in the foot compartment of the boat, and they're pretty sturdy. You can they they sell them so you can hike in them and stuff. They're also lightweight and pretty small and compact. So those are my go-to. Um, other people like Keen type sandals. Um, they're more of um, I, I've worn them before. Um, they're a little bit more bulky. 
but they're also a little bit more rigid, so they're more like tennis shoes, so you can wear them on uneven ground and things like that. Less rocks get in your shoes. They're not so great with sand. If you have sand, uh, chacos or flip-flops are going to be better. Um, but these, these keep gravel out pretty well. These can get gravel in them some bit, but they also come out. Uh, another option is flip-flops. Um, these are great if you have a no current or low current situation or if you're launching from a dock. They're harder to walk in and that sort of thing. And if you have any current at all, they'll wash right off. So I don't recommend them for any current situations, but anything else, it's great. They're great for regattas, that sort of thing. Oh, um, all right, so not pictured because I don't own any are water moccasins. Those shoes are really not good for very much at all. Um, I, I don't even want to picture them because they're not good. They're, you'll feel all the rocks. Um, they smell quickly. There's a lot of reasons why you would not want to want, wear those. Another thing to think about when figuring out what to wear for rowing shoes, everyone's different. Different people on my team wear all the ones shown right here. You just need to figure out what is going to work for you in your specific situation based on how you launch and what your preferences are. I hope this has helped you learn about shoes for rowing, what you should and should not wear. Thanks for watching today. I hope you tune in for more videos. I hope you found this content helpful. If there's something specific you want to see how to do rowing related, please email us at rowingtidbits at gmail.com and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.